Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Wilson's Take on Oz. This week's episode is the 12 volt system for our brand new canopy. And yes, we are doing a King's 12 volt system. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this episode and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so I thought I'd show you some of the King's um, 12 volt system we're going to be using. First up, we've got the DC to DC, the 40 amp one. The King's 12 volt box. We went with the bigger one, because with the big one, the DC to DC will fit right on here, and then we can put the wires straight through this grommet here, and nice and easy, mounts there, so I don't need to mount it on the board. Just, it'll be a lot neater. So we thought we'd go with the bigger one. And then you get what one two three four five switches rocket switches for lights water pump whatever you need there's three cigarette ports and one double usb port so should be good it's got your solar in not sure where that one is probably solar i don't know something i think that connects up to the car or something uh your fuse box so it's all fused up ready to go can mount that somewhere there that'll mount straight on there which look how good that's going to be and these wires will be all neat inside the box also bought the king's 50 amp wiring kit so i'll use these wires to run to the engine bay to the battery so make it all nice and neat i don't need to worry about how long they are they should be long enough so it's all neat it's got the fuse in there so it's good to go and then yeah the 12 volt box also I've got the King's 3000 watt inverter so big beast but it'll just be so much better what sort of battery do you reckon we're going with do you think we're gonna go King's or something else and what size this is sort of how I think I'm gonna set it up on the board but before I mount it all I'm gonna Hook the DC to DC to DC up, mount it on here, put all the wires in. I know I need to get more blue wire to go for the ignition, to sense when the ignition's on and all that for charging. So, yeah, it's a shame it doesn't come with a pretty long length of it. It should, since it's meant to be all ready to go. But yeah, the wiring should be nice and easy. It's all labelled. Solar input, ignition what's that alternator input so it's all labeled pretty good let's get into it first things first I'm gonna undo the lid of the 12 volt box so just four allen keys and then I'll see what's inside and start doing it How neat that is beautiful so you want it just make sure everything's nice and tight so I'm gonna need to make this hole bigger so I just make sure I might get a cable tie and tie these back just so when I drill the hole I don't hit the wires all right, that's all cable tied nicely pull this grommet out because I'm gonna need to steal one of the grommets on the side the bigger one to drill the hole I'm gonna use a step drill I'm just gonna put it through here to get what size it is I think it's 24 I can't exactly see on my step drill because it's a bit worn off so I'm just gonna put a marker mark on it Put that back on, it's back in. Not too loose, but not too tight because you're going to take them off in a minute anyway. And let's drill it out. Now 
That's it. I made a mess. So I just went and got the vacuum and clean up as you go. So you're working in a nice, neat area. I'm gonna try to find some, a file or something to file this so it's not sharp. Then I can pop the grommet back in and go from there. Just give it a quick file. <laughs> And pop the grommet back in if you can. All right, that's in. I'm just going to check it from underneath. So take the screws out. Make sure you didn't get any of the wiring, which I haven't. Make sure there's no wires there still. Get a knife, Stanley knife, whatever, and cut the grommet out now. There's lines on the grommet, so you know where to cut. And then just pop out the Anderson plug so you can feed the wires through. So, if your memory is not crash shot, just chuck a cable tie on them so you know they're together. With the cable ties, I've done them backwards just so they're nice and easy to take off. So you don't need to cut them, you can just pull them through like that. Bang. So, makes it nice, quick and easy, and you're not wasting them. Let's start feeding them in. Make sure this is roughly right. What you can do, pull them through, take the cable tie off and put the cable tie on the other side. So it's, you know where to put them. You don't have to do it that way, but I think it'll be easier. Don't need to think about it. Oh, yep, they're together, they're together. Nice, quick and easy. Try not to put the wires entangled like this. So just untangle them, just so it looks neater. That's all it's, I'm doing. We should have done this one first because it's got the eyelid on it. Anyway, let's hope it fits. Well, I've learnt the hard way, so now you don't. Definitely put that in first. So I'm going to pull these wires back out. Put this one in first. And then put the rest in. And this is the attempt sensor. So whatever you do, do not cut it. I'm going to try to get this as straight as I can, then I'll get my marker, mark out where I want the bolt holes, and then I can drill them out. I'm just going to check the box and see if it came with any screws to put on. I'm hoping it does, because I'm not sure if I have any. Just drill the holes that I already marked out. Now they're drilled out, find your bolt, make sure they fit, make sure it fits nice. I might go one size bigger just so it slides in nice and easy. And then double check it, but it should, yeah, perfect. Yep, all of them, perfect. Grab your vacuum, clean up again. File, file the holes, so there's no sharp bits. Just 
gonna put a flat washer on this side and just lift it up holding it. I'm gonna put a flat washer, spring washer, then a nut because I don't have nylock nuts here. But I may change this to go black bolts with nylocks. This will do for now though. Alright, that's all mounted up, bolted in now. Beautiful. Now I'm going to hook up the solar wires. So all you do for that, flip that over, cut these couple cable ties. So undo the Anderson plug. And I'm pretty sure the green one is solar, so get that, double check it. It's all, all labelled as well, so that's, yep, green solar input. Pull that through. Put that one through. And the other one. And then you get your Anderson plug, put the wires through. Put those in, put the nuts back on. And do it up nice and tight. And that's the solar input done. So nice and neat. I might just tie these up and maybe put some heat shrink over them just to protect them, even though they got this covering. But yeah, I'll put some heat shrink on to protect it a bit more. And then I'll just shrink them down when I get a lighter. And then we'll get to the next part. Now, I know this is where I want the 12 volt box. So I'm going to mark out, trace a line. Then I can work out where to drill the holes. And then I can bolt the 12 volt box onto the panel. So that's my square where it's going to mount. I've just got to go put this in the canopy and make sure... There's no beams where I want to put the bolts. Alright, so lucky I marked it out and put the panel in. Because I was just having a look at it. The Anderson plugs will be down here, right down on the bottom. So once I've got a false floor in, or if I put a false floor in, not sure yet. That'll come, say, who, who knows, up here. It might be a bit hard to get the solar panel plug in or whatever you need so I might need to take it a bit higher maybe up here and then I'll still be able to get the plugs in so lucky I checked before bolting it down alright I've got the box mounted well placed to where I want it I'm just gonna pre-drill the holes and then I can put the bolts in and then once it's in the canopy I'll level it properly I can bolt it on so same as before I'm gonna do flat washer spring washer and then the nut For some reason this nut won't go on there you go first time for everything. Got a brand new bolt that's shredded all the way so they haven't cut the thread properly all the way down to the head of it. Never seen that before. What's it all 
in loosely. Now I can tighten them up, it's all nice and level. All right, they're all nice and tight. I'll go see how it fits in the canopy. See. There you go. It's not all bolted in, so it's still got to be screwed, but that's how it's going to look. All right, good morning. It's another morning. Obviously, that's why I said good morning. I've been to J card to get some more wiring so I can finish hooking up the 12 volt control box got some for the inverter I didn't show you um, Me fitting the inverter. I just mounted it quickly last night When I got back from J car, so that's all mounted on the board now So that's ready to be wired up. I've got some fuses and yeah, so let's get into it So I'm gonna take the cover off the 12 volt box for first of all now i just got to work out what grommet I want to run the wires through. So some's going to go to the battery in the canopy and some will run out another one out and I'll run it down to the engine bay. I cut these off and put some ring terminals on them and they'll mount inside the 12 volt box and then that's for the auxiliary battery. Then it'll, I'll make up some more wiring to go to the auxiliary battery. gonna solder these terminals on so just got the terminal in the vice grips and then heat them up melt some solder shove the wire in make sure you don't do it on the carpet or near the wiring because you know what will happen All right, that's it. So you just fill the lug up with solder, shove the wire in, let it dry, and you're good to go. Once it cools down, I'll put the heat shrink over it so it's all nice and neat. I might crimp them a bit too, actually. And now, that won't go anywhere. And then a bit of solder came out of that hole, so just trim it off so it's nice and neat as well. And then heat shrink over. And then we can do the next one. And then that's those two done. Now I'll connect them up to the 12 volt box. Just gonna get these soldered up and terminals on. So little trick I've done for bigger cable. Put a cable tie to try and hold those wires together a lot tighter. Turn that. And then it's still tricky. And then you can just slide that on. Makes it a bit easier. And then cut the cable tie. You cut that and then it's on. But I'm going to try and 
solder same as before Alright guys, I'm going to leave that one there for now. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe for part three next week. Thanks guys. <laughs>